Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios. <laughs> Seriously, every single week we gotta start like this. This is the third week in a row. Jeez Louise. Ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit! Oh. Success! Impressive. Give your respect. <laughs> We not even three minutes into the game. They had a defensive score. God damn it. No charges. No. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again. Live from Kansas City, Missouri. Where Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes going deep. Got Tariq Hill in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. And it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes. Why? Because it's free real estate. I don't know why I said live from Kansas City like we not going around the league. Anyway, Boston Tea Party Michael Scott would tell one jet, Give me your ankles, pussy! Go into the end zone, touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles! Long hair, don't care, sunshine, Trevor Lawrence looking towards the end zones, got his man participating in the 10 toes down challenge, touchdown, Jacksonville! You know, this makes me wonder what Tim Tebow's doing at this moment. You know what, never mind, today's Sunday, he's probably somewhere praying. Now that I think about it, when has Tim Tebow not been praying? One quick look at those Saints and Cardinals highlights. Wait a minute, the game got canceled. To everybody living in New Orleans, we're praying for your safety. Don't nobody want to go through another hurricane? Tell Mother Nature to go eat a dick! Stupid bitch! Wait a minute, you could have saw this video early and ad-free. All you gotta do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chiseledadonis and become a level 3, 4, 5, or 6 member and you won't have to worry about ads and you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? They got Brady playing in the preseason. Eh? Looking over the middle, he's got Chris Godwin in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, in Buffalo Wild Wings, the most Josh of Allens looking over the middle. I don't know if he's homosexual or he's very happy, but he's got the most Gabriel of Davis is who goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Bills. Out in the land of homosexuals, porn star Jimmy G on the move. Garoppolo goes into the end zone for the score. He tells Trey Lance, fuck you, it's my job. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up to Tannehill and cooked up some apple. Turnovers pass intercepted by the Chicago Bears. And Danny Trevathan will return it all the way to the 32-yard line. Man, this is some more bullshit. <laughs> Out to Meth Life Stadium, Josh Johnson looking towards his right. He's got Lawrence Cager in the end zone. Tie game for the Jets. Think fast. Cleveland pastry chef Baker Mayfield rolling towards his left. Got his man. Touchdown, Browns. Are they still threatening to eat people's kneecaps in Detroit? One way or another, Quintez Cyphers would find the end zone and the Lions would take the lead. We're going to buy the kneecap off. Surprise, motherfucker. Sergeant Garrett Dokes would punch his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. They go out in front. Back to Kansas City we go. Patrick Kermit the Frog Mahomes rolling towards his right, looking towards the middle. He's got his tight end. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City Chiefs. And it's too easy for Patrick Mahomes. Why? Because it's free real estate. Discount clearance aisle, great value, Memorial Day sale, Lamar Jackson, Tyler Hundley would run into the end zone, touchdown Baltimore, they're on the board. Here comes the Lolly Lulelo, Cam Newton looking to go deep down the field. I got it, I got it, I got it. this motherfucker, get your ass up out of here, yo, hook ass nigga. Pass intercepted by the midgets. Kenneth's parents knew he'd be in the gym because when it comes to weight, he'd gain well. Would find the end zone, the Eagles are back out in front. Let's go to Wakanda in the home of the Black Panther. And as you can see, I am not dead. One day removed from the one year anniversary of the passing of the late great Chadwick Boseman, the spirit of the Black Panther is alive and well. And now, no charges. No. Chronicles 4 versus 17. We never put any trust in thoughts. We only trust in the power of dreadlocks as Collins finds the end zone and it extends the Seahawks lead. OH. IO. Bengals still suck at the end of the regular season. We'll know as Brandon Allen throws the ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Chris. Evans is he Captain America no he's not Captain America why would Captain America play for the Bengals then again Captain America is all about the stars and stripes the Bengals ain't got no stars but they do have stripes the Niners are shifting between quarterbacks like the head cheerleader Trey Lance from the elite four would run into the end zone touchdown Niners they extend their lead to two scores fuck you Garoppolo the job is mine long hair don't care sunshine Trevor Lawrence looking into the end zones got a man again his second TD pass of the game he's only had one in completion. Get him out! We've seen enough. He's fucked the Cowboys twice already. My bottle can't take that abuse! Tennessee would lube up with some KY jelly and pound their way through the hole. Touchdown, Titans. OH. IO, the Bengals getting interceptions? Yoink. 
What do you know? Picked off by the Cincinnati Bengals, returned inside Miami territory. Brady takes the snap, hands it off to Ronald McDonald Jones. He's headed towards the sideline. Touchdown! Think fast. Jordan Love launches it towards the end zone. Wahoo! I'm all mine. Carolina really out here playing Madden against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look at all those blocks. Touchdown, Panthers. Brady finally took a seat. Let's see what those backup QBs doing. They are who we thought they were. Absolute scrubs. My God. He damn sure ain't Wolverine, but Logan Woodside looking towards his left. Give me that. Pass intercepted by Robeson. And can I get a Mick pick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Bears even up the score in this bitch. Discount clearance aisle, holiday sale, great value. Lamar Jackson, Tyler Hundley on the move once again. Got his man in the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. They lead 17 to 0. Out to Meth Life Stadium. Here comes Danny Dimes, baby. Is there any surprise? This man was taught by his mentor. The greatest average quarterback of all time. Vintage Eli Manning. And I promise you a debate I'll go to the grave with. Eli is not a Hall of Famer. Debate in the comment section if you want. But damn it, I said what I said. Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel Adonis and book me today. The wild Pokemon Teddy Ursa trolls live near the Bridgewater rolling towards his left. Got his man in the end zone. The Broncos are up on top. Back to the land of Timpoint we go. Gilbert looking towards his right. Got his man. Dallas cuts their deficit in half. But hot. What a terrible snap by Tampa Bay. Somebody let the Buccaneers know you can't shoot bullets with your gun on safety. Two for your mistakes, stupid. Tail end of the first half, the most Josh of Allen still in the game. Got his man. Buffalo leads by two scores. Are we sure this isn't actually Lamar Jackson? Because discount clearance are a great value Lamar Jackson out here balling. Surprise, motherfucker. Sergeant Garrett Dokes would go into the end zone again. His second TD on the day. Following a Tennessee field goal, here comes comes Da Bears, Justin Fields rolling towards his right, got his man participating in the 10 toes down challenge, what a pass, an even better catch. Following the safety, it's time for Houston to start to build some momentum so they cook up some apple turnovers. You want a free chance at a million dollars? Don't answer that. Of course you do. Well, thanks to my friends at Underdog Fantasy, not only do you get a free chance at a million dollars, it's never been easier. What? Underdog Fantasy recently released their biggest fantasy football tournament ever with $3.5 million in prizes and over a million dollars to first place. Underdog Fantasy has made it the easiest place to play fantasy football. I like this kind of party. I like this kind of party, baby. No lineup setting, no leaving points on the bench, no long nights on the waiver wire. Underdog will set up your best possible lineup at the end of each week. So go sign up and deposit using code Adonis, and you're going to get $25 for free. That'll get you right into the million dollar tournament. Just head over to Underdog Fantasy or download their sleek and easy to use app for your free shot at a million bucks in cold hard cash when you deposit with code Adonis. Shout out to Underdog for finally making a game where real sports fans can win real money. May the odds ever be in your face. Go get that money! Drew Locksmith knows it's never too late to earn that starting position. I dropped it. Hey! It's on ball! I guess not. You are about to lose your job. The Vikings are so far away from the days of the purple people eaters. Look at their defense just getting abused out there. They couldn't cover ass cheeks with a pair of underwear. Oh lord, Danny Dimes throwing it into the end zone again. <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. He was right on target, and the Giants take the lead. For what it's worth, outside of the interception, he was 17-22 for 135 yards and the TD. Those big blue quarterbacks definitely come to play against the Lali Lulelo, just like his mentor. Vintage Eli Manning. <coughs> Still ain't a Hall of Famer. At this point, Pittsburgh definitely has anal fissures. They're getting butt-fucked out there. And the Steelers' former nemesis, Joe, the only thing elite about me is my Nike socks Flacco rolling towards his right. He's got his man. Oh, Homie disregarded two Jet defenders goes into the end zone. Philly extends their lead to double digits. What happened to the defenses in Wakanda because the Jeffrey Dahmer necrophilia challenge is beginning because the Pittsburgh Steelers may be dead. But somehow, they're still getting fucked. Big Mac Daddy Jones takes the snap, looking towards his left, got his man. The New England Patriots are out in front. Oh, thank God. At least the Vikings would get going on offense. I lie! Don't forget my motto is say, I lie, I cheat, I steal, and I got you going, hoes. 
Discount Clarence Ah Lamar Jackson still going at it. Prochet would tell his defender to hold my nuggets. Suck my dick! Touchdown Ravens! Hunley's fourth TD on the day! Oh, you mad because I'm styling on you. <laughs> you got better gear, couldn't style and on me. They thought this man was a high drange or a tulip. His name is AJ Rose, pussy, and he'd go into the end zone. The Vikings finally score a touchdown. The dreadlock powers would be activated for the Lolly Lule Low as Ramon Dre Stevenson would run his way into the end zone. Savior of the city of Philadelphia, Big Dick Nick Foles looking over the middle. He's got Horstead in the end zone, his second TD of the day. Come on, Tampa, do something without Brady. Butterfingers is the only thing on the marquee. Fumble on the play recovered by Houston and look at the Detroit Lions finding the end zone once again remember what they said you knocked them down on their way up All right, and on the way up we're gonna take your other kneecap police help help what is this man's obsession with kneecaps nevertheless the Texans finally find the end zone back to Kansas City we go Derek Gore would get the ball on a screen play more blockers than transgender medication into Vikings territory and like Kendall Jenner trying to throw her booty cheeks back they're never gonna catch it he'd go 50 plus yards into the end zone touchdown Chiefs Florida Gators stand up here comes Kyle Trask got a man touchdown Buccaneers maybe they do have a backup if Brady goes down interception poppy Nate Peterman looking towards his left. He's got Bowers. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. The Lord out here doing favors. I thought Peterman was going to throw another interception. Then again, we all thought Peterman was going to throw another interception. Drew Locksmith has the Broncos in the period colored zone. He's got his man over the middle. The Broncos take the lead. But did that help him get the starting job? Absolutely not. Somebody go swab number two's mouth. We need a DNA test. Are you sure this ain't Lamar Jackson? Tyler Hundley's got five touchdowns in a preseason game. Oh, there's Lamar over there. What Madden card is this man using? Washington's team doesn't even have a name, and this man took their pride. This is not even the Ted Bundy or the Jeffrey Dahmer necrophilia challenge. Hunley is fucking him himself. Let's see if those Packers can finally get something done on defense. Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! I guess not. That's how a white man runs a football, you bitch. Meanwhile, in the land of homosexuals, hand off to Tasty Jermichael Hasty. I can't believe this is what this man's nickname is, but he'd activate his dreadlock powers and go into the end zone 35 yards for the score. Hasty will take it to the end zone. Let me hear it, T-Rock. Hasty, Hasty. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no. Pardon my interruption. If you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Click the links in my description and go to chiseledadonnashop.com and get your merch today. Just do it! Tennessee would once again apply their KY jelly and punch their way through the hole for a score. Freed from the captivity of turnovers, Nate Peterman would be let loose! Son of a bitch! They are who we thought they were! I promise you, when the time comes and Nate Peterman is called to the upper room, he's gonna throw another interception in the casket for old time's sake. Back to the land of them boys. Luton takes the snap, rolling right. He's got Laquan Treadwell. He'd fight his way into the end zone. Jacksonville's destroying the Cowboys. My butt all can't shake. That's abuse. Hasty will take it to the end zone. Let me hear it, T-Rock. Hasty, hasty. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry, no, 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 no. Who would have thought we'd see Drew Brees at an Atlanta game talking about New Orleans? But prayers go out to the people in New Orleans. Make sure you guys are safe. I hope the hurricane is not affecting you or your families. And as it pertains to Mother Nature. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. Out to Atlanta we go. Here come the... <laughs> God damn, man's got rocked through an interception. And here comes the Falcons down the field with the... Butter fingers fumble recovered by the browns they get the football back even when atlanta does good they still find a way to do bad final play of the third quarter new york would find pay dirt and cut their deficit down to one score remember when the browns got the football back because atlanta couldn't hold on to the interception they'd literally throw another one but they still suffer from butter fingers they'd fumble on the play but atlanta would retain the fumble and this time they'd hold on to the possession 
in a rare occurrence, we remain in Meth Life Stadium where Glennon rolls towards his right. He's got his man, touchdown Giants. If the internet wasn't a thing, I'd be lying my ass off to you guys, making you think that both the Giants and the Jets played against different opponents at the exact same time on the exact same day in the same motherfucking stadium. Fourth and eight, Mills takes the snap, steps up in the pocket, got his man in the end zone, touchdown Houston. Oh, Lord in heaven, the Indianapolis Colts done found the end zone in Detroit. Somebody protect their kneecaps. Out to Denver we go. With this high altitude, I wonder what they end up cooking. Maybe some apple turnovers. No need for jokes. Look at this back shoulder pass by Woodside. Even better catch. Just beautiful football. That is simply pulchritudinous. Atlanta would move down the field into the red zone. They'd go third and goal. They'd find the end zone. But would this help them come back and win, though? Absolutely not. Not even a minute later for Detroit. Wahoo! Pass intercepted by Indianapolis. Look at T.Y. Hilton. Why every time somebody on an interview, a turnover happens? If this is a sign for the upcoming season, if your team just so happen to be on defense and you see a player interview is happening, get excited. But if your team is on offense, you might as well turn off the television. Pittsburgh has yet to remove the appendage of the Carolina Panthers, and Will Greer would not stop the thrusting as he'd run into the end zone for the score. The necrophilia continues. That's how white man runs a football, you bitch. And now, no charges. No. Yet another situation where the opposing team of Los Angeles is operating on batteries because the Chargers can't do shit. O-H-I-O, -O, the Bengals kicking Miami's ass? Shit, I guess so. Here I go, fire. Yoink. Why, yeah, yeah, Can I get a McPick six? Wah. Touchdown in this bitch. Long field goal. Get the fuck out of here. You gotta get the fuck out of here. I... Houston with a block on the field goal. They'd return it inside Buccaneers territory. Back to Meth Life Stadium. James, Captain Morgan looking over the middle. He's got Yaboa into the end zone. Tie game 24 all. Back to Tennessee we go. Foles looking over the middle. He's got Horstead once again. And Jesper Horstead is headed towards the end zone. He already exposed his left testicle. Exposed his right testicle. Now he's rubbing his entire nutsack all over the Tennessee Titans for his third TD on the day if this man don't got a contract give it to him whatever he wants give it to him oh did the Bengals take their foot off the gas we know Merritt would go into the end zone touchdown Miami I don't know if Dallas's rectum is bleeding due to hemorrhoids or to possibly being thrusted by the Jacksonville Jaguars because they getting dominated out there they losing by 27 points my bottle can't take that abuse with a little over two minutes left to play the Cleveland Browns would take the dead Namekki into the funeral home because they put the nail in the coffin touchdown Browns this game is over from the 42 yard line hand off to Deion Jackson get your bitch ass off me pussy he'd run into the end zone touchdown Colts it's not a prediction it's a spoiler it's not a threat it's a guarantee I'm not just sure I'm HIV positive we gonna hepatitis C the Detroit Lions eat somebody's kneecaps because there will be no W we're gonna buy the kneecap off all right, and on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap. Oh, hell no. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date in all my content. On top of that, follow me all over the social media platforms, all right? Whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Pornhub, does not matter. Because at the end of the day, let's all go to the Shadow Realm together. Houston's about to make things interesting. They're going to come back for the win. I guess not. Pass intercepted by Tampa Bay. Failure. Fourth and 15 for Miami. Game on the line. Cynic rolling towards his right. Points towards the end zone. He's got Myrick in the end zone. Participating for the 10 toes down challenge. Touchdown Miami. They take the lead. Oh wait. Chayo. Did the Bengals blow the lead? Of course we know. Oh my God, you guys. Look. Dallas scored a touchdown. Wow! Did this help them come back in window? Absolutely not! My bottle can't take that abuse! Back to Meth Life Stadium we go. 115 left to play. Here come the Jets. Unfortunately, they ate some beep 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 be
fingers. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Philadelphia Eagles into the end zone. Touchdown, Philly. And once again, we remain in Meth Life Stadium. The Giants are on the move with 13 seconds left to play. Hail Mary. Touchdown. Who would have thought the midgets had it in them? And now with an opportunity to tie because they removed overtime and preseason games. Two for your must. We remain in Meth Life Stadium for the Jets rolling towards their right. Launches towards the end zone. Hail Mary to possibly fight for a tie. It's caught in the end zone. The Jets have an opportunity to do what the Giants failed. And they take out their Uno cards and give the Giants two for their mistakes. Tie game at 31 all with no time remaining left to play. This is very anticlimactic. Much like nutting into an ovulating woman only to find out that you were sterile, this will actually end in a tie. As former Jets coach Herm Edwards would say, you play to win the game, so why don't we get overtime? It's the last game of the preseason. Give the people what they want. You're gonna give me what I want, or I'm gonna continue to hurt people you love. Well, spoiler alert, Batista, we're the ones who's getting hurt because this final preseason game and this miraculous comeback from the Jets is going to end in a motherfucking tie. Who wanted to see this shit? This is the epitome of blasphemy. Whenever somebody sees Roger Goodell, hit him with a clubbing blow. For the Falcons, Giants, Raiders, Bengals, Cowboys, Chargers, Rams, Texans, Titans, Washington football team, Packers, Vikings, Steelers, and Lions, take out your Metro card and get aboard the L train. But for the Eagles and Jets, you guys tied, so I... I guess you guys go to the pit of death, you stupid motherfuckers. You play to win the game. Nothing but limbo in your future, stupid. <laughs> Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that will take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already follow me for the 10k follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be entered. I don't care about burner accounts, I don't care how many other accounts you happen to make. All you've got to do is download the Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, follow me on the app and you will be entered. May the odds ever be in your favor. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Please! Please!